What is up you guys? How you guys doing today? Coming in with another review from none other than Stealth Fidget Spinners. This time we're going to be taking a look at the Aventador Hardcore Stainless Steel. When you first get it out of your mailbox, you'll get it in their traditional black stainless steel uh, tin, which is, I, I've given uh, praise to uh, companies that do this. They uh, market themselves well. Touche stealth. Let's take a look inside this guy. Oh man. Oh, you know I'm a sucker for stainless steel, right? This is this is like a wet dream come true, man. Look at this guy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at this guy. You know I love the Aventator series and to have it in stainless steel. Oh my goodness. It's just beautiful. Look at how gorgeous this piece is. I love the design all the way around. It gives it a unique feel. You know what? I've I've talked to you guys before about uh, the Aventador and how unique it is. I don't think I have to go into detail here. Uh, if you want to check it out, you can check it out on the other Aventador uh, reviews that I've done. But I'm telling you, I just love the body. I love the way that the legs flare out. It gives it that supporting weight on the outside. So you have long spin times with a sexy silhouette. This guy, when you put it up to the sun, as you guys can see right there, it just gives you that gleam. And I love, love the gleam. Let's take a look inside this guy, shall we? This guy houses a super stealth R18 hybrid ceramic bearing in the bearing retaining system, which is super nice for maintenance. So, so as always, you get the pleasure of spinning this guy with nice buttons. Uh, I love the fact that the logo's all up in there. Uh, no shame in that at all. These guys are slightly concave, so it makes it really nice and perfect for your uh, fingertips to fit into. This guy comes in at 85 grams, which I feel is just the perfect uh, weight for this guy, especially uh, made out of stainless steel. I love it when I'm able to put my finger all up into the chassis. It makes it really good for uh, back spins, forward flicks, you name it, you, you're comfortable with it. This guy is really fidgetable, as you guys can see. Uh, no problems here at all. During my spin time analysis, I got a 6604, which is advertised from uh, five to seven, so it broke expectation right there. So if you guys already own the Aventador, what are you waiting for? I don't even need to go into the yay nair in between. You know what I'm already gonna say. Uh, this guy is just perfect. I love the way it gleams. It's just so beautiful. It, it, it's just so, it gives it that gorgeous feel, that gorgeous look. And you know, I always praise uh, any type of spinner that gives it an artistic feel. And the Aventador is no different. This guy is full of artistic flair. The spin on this guy is very, very smooth. And there's barely no judder from horizontal to vertical and vertical to horizontal. So once again, if you like this review, go ahead and give me the like. If you don't, go ahead and ding me. Uh, if you want to shoot the shits, just uh, hit me up in the comments section. I'll hit you back up. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. We're 195 strong. And once we get to 200, I'm going to be giving away a spinner. A mystery one at that. So stay tuned. And that's all I got for you guys. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. See you guys on the next review.